You know, for years I've I had this open mic them. and I used Charlie yeah, Lennon's Crown Royal bag. I lost them. And I'm like, I have no idea where they went multiple ones. So I'm like, giving the thing that having this thing for a while makes it sound like I might be tasteful, whether or not it's true, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, now I have to think of something. What can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, gosh. This woman. Do I have to just talk about how awesome she's been for how many years? How many years has Beach Poets run when you didn't have a place to... 1990. So it's we're already at 23 freaking years where she's been running this open mic. She works, she's worked on and off on different things and now she's got a weekly radio spot because of managerial work at W. Ellen, or Northeastern Illinois University at WCRD Radio. Um, she... Oh God, I could just start naming other things, but I won't even bother because I don't have the, the puppets or the theatrics to talk about. No. No. I, think that it does. I love this one, Be Emily, and this one deserves so much. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kathleen Shalemeyer. make sure that everybody knows that every love poem I've ever written has been rededicated to my husband. Every love poem I've ever written has happened. That was I officially did it at the cafe when it was at Cafe Aloha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Maria McCray was there. Um, yes. I also want to invite everybody to come before the Beach yeah. Poets, next it's Tuesday, it's week from yesterday, next Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m., no, I'm sorry, 6.30 p.m., 6.30 at Northeastern Illinois University, 5500 North St. Louis, at 6.30, there is going to be a performance of the main call. It's free. It's That's right, free. Well, before and night. it's Woo! like, my daughter's going to be performing for the first time. Oh, cool. And my son, this performance, Teo, no, Teo studied in Spain last August. He was awesome. there for two weeks dancing five hours a day, and it really shows. I mean, the dance I'm company he's with is phenomenal. They're the only academic Spanish dance company in the country housed at a public university. And I'm so proud of my son, my children, both my children, I mean, the little guys. My big guy, I'm proud of him too, because he's working full time, he's being a good dad. Woo! I'm not going to complain. He looks, he looks adorable on his moped. Um, okay, so, you know, we had uh, a big loss to our poetry community recently, and I want to honor that. The poets met on neutral turf, fell in love, they gave birth to a girl, Matea, who could play a violin to heaven's skies as love strings our hearts to tearful goodbyes. Under the bonsai tree, Angie, Kunishi, and me. We raise a glass filled with bonito, a gift from Puerto Rico, a poet filled with love, 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 shining through the breeze of the trees as we come down from the mountain with him in the mud on our feet. We sit on the porch with the old men in the lap of 1951. Thankful songs of poetry, making those street sounds, and dreaming of hope-filled tomorrows, now is yesterday's, in a place called Chicago. Oh. Chicago. All right. Forever in our hearts. I'll always miss you. And I don't know how I could ever replicate any of his work with I don't have a band. I mean, with my band, I need a band. <laughs> oh, but I have a band today. Today, I was a high school music teacher. Uh, high school music teacher, me, the sound of music that no one heard today, came from my classroom where we watched a movie by the same name. Did you know? 
Christopher Plummer called it the sound of mucus. <laughs> Did you know that Julie Andrews was almost run over by the helicopter in the opening shot? <laughs> or that the song Alewise is not an old Austrian folk song, but the last song written by Oscar Hammerstein before he died in 1960? Oh. Did you know that students refused to put away their electronics? And that some insisted they had the right to play cards? A blonde chick sat in the front row during the best musical of all time, saying, I'm bored, and rolling her head around like a daisy on parade, refusing to do any work in class because she already had an A, and I am only a sub. How dare I ask them to write a synopsis? I am only a sub, less than human, but faster than a locomotive, <laughs> able to come up with new lesson plans in a single bound. I told her that I sang, I told students that I sang, I have confidence, you see, I have confidence in me, as I skipped to work today. Some asked me to click my heels, so I did, three times, and I discovered I have confidence oh. in me. <laughs> You know, I'm the host of the Beach Poets. Here's our Beach Poets flyer for 2013. We're starting back up this summer, June 2nd, with Susanna Sandoval. And then uh, we've got a list of uh, features here. It's, it'll be on our Facebook page. Check it out. Here's another poem. I met someone here, actually, at the Gallery Cabaret. I met a man many years ago. So keep in mind, honey, I've rededicated all these poems to you. <laughs> and here we go. Be a world is the saddest thing ever. Don't be offended, I said. Talking with my girlfriends. Should I call him? No. Don't call him. Do not call him. <laughs> he's cheating on his girlfriend. What does that tell you? Sure, he's good and sweet and kind. Good looking, you bet, but he's cheating on his girlfriend. I don't care if he's been faithful for four and a half years. Do you think that makes you special? Just because he chose you to be unfaithful with? Do not call him. Don't call him. No, don't call him. You're glutton for punishment. Call him, my heart sings. Don't be stupid. You're just asking for it. Call him and ask for it. <laughs> Unfaithful to me, I'd love to have the chance. This makes you look really bad, you know. I've wanted you since I first saw you, he told me. Call him, my yearning ego yells. I ignore all advice. I reach for the phone. I dial. Hello? A woman's voice answers. <laughs> I hang up, stunned by my own stupidity. <laughs> now, I'm wondering if I dialed the right number. <laughs> I found myself turning to talk to you today after you're gone, wanting to share a glorious snippet of Whitman, savor the delicate pungence of my linguine, and bask in the sun with you like a couple of old house cats stretched out sensuously in the middle of the floor. I wonder if your kisses were just words sent out on the wind of desire, ramming my soul without meaning to. Seduced by the ancient siren song of bare skin, touching, hands taunting, exploring, pulled away, put back, pulled away, put back, pulled away. Mouths exploring, talking without words. Hi, how are you? Gee, you feel nice and smooth and sleek and wet. Your lips are warm and full and hot and Devouring my mouth, you stop and speak and beg for poetry, and I can't think or speak because the heat and the passion and our words and I suddenly realize that I don't know you very well. <laughs> Could it be you, the all-consuming passion of tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow? Did I 
Hence, ecstasy only an appetizer to the eternal love promised by happy endings and fairy tales. Could it be you? We have gotten too old to believe in fairy tales, too hardened to accept the bright promise of happy endings. Could it be you? I gasp as you consume my innermost core, and tomorrow you'll have eggs and toast. Am I as much a part of you as they are, giving you life and sustenance, only to be shut out and forgotten? A fun filled ride on the Delta Girl! <laughs> Could it be you? Are human beings toys for you to play with and discard like cardboard boxes? Could it be you? I hold on to my love with eternal hope for the undying flame I know exists within my own heart. And with the coming of every new relationship, I wonder, could it be you? Yeah, bakeries and starving people. I know you like to hang around. I don't want to tie you down. I just have a lingering desire for the hunger of you. I get like a cat wanting to get down. I thought I had my feet on the ground, yet here you are haunting me. Ghost of a one night stand. We were bakeries and starving people combined, devouring each other. Too soon, lovers. Yet here you are haunting me, scaring me the possibilities of what we would be. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Right. Okay. Wow. Nice one. You're the same person. Um, riding on the membrane of the morning, maybe two hours left to sleep before work, I harmonize with the warm circle of, within the warm circle of you, my face buried in your hair. I savor this time as the birds sing, and I delight in God's greatest creation, us. Bridal shower morning of my best friend. Early morning whispers, kissing, dozing. Look at the clock! I've got to go! And you lay on top of me. Reality melts away as you melt me and I melt you. A couple of melt aways on a bridal shower morning melding with you. Okay. Okay, here we go. Talking with my best friend Nick on the phone. Oh, Cap, dump him. He says in regards to you. Sure, you blew me off, lied to me, and suggested I take Nick to Marie's wedding instead of you. And I honestly forgive you. I understand your gentle, bumbling nature, afraid of another fatal attraction like your recent ex. And it's so easy for him to say, oh, Cap, dump him. He hasn't shared wine and laughter with you as the sun sh shone rose-colored streams on our early morning poetry. He hasn't watched you sleeping in patchwork light with soft whispers snores rising from lips that drive me wild with anticipation of desire fulfilled. He hasn't bathed you like an Indian god. The poor water pressure in my tub a blessing for the first time. As I told you stories, baptizing you with cup after cup of water. As I poured it over your wild mane of hair and that body, oh, that body. Fresh off the farm you are, God, you are so talented. Your talent makes me your talent makes me crazy to jump inside of you and drive you to stardom. Uh -huh. Only I refuse to play dead mother to someone who's going to tip his hat and leave when he's had his fun. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, except with a glass of water before bed. Oh. <laughs> lovemaking, the best I've had. You hold me and I'm so glad. I smile knowing we are happy, feeling love, but not sane. Afraid of hurt, afraid of shame, afraid of old time, one time pain. You whisper to me your secret desire, bananas and strawberries, to quench the fire of hunger buried in your belly. I laugh, thinking you're so silly. Now bananas and berries sit on my pantry awaiting a hunger which has left me. 
So they rot upon my shelf, just like you and myself, uh -huh. rotting before being devoured by a love that never flowered. Oh, man. And then this I wrote for him today. In the heat of our moment, on the playground of desire, on top of the slide where no one could see, you and me, your hair, my mouth, this moment, all us, 23 years ago. Suddenly, here you are, and my husband can do nothing about it. This time, this husband, because there is no wrestling with a ghost. 25 years ago, the man tried by hiring you so he could keep his eye on you and me, so you would feel indebted and be good to him, not to me, because we had this energy like vibrating magnets. The pull between us was so strong I had to break away to a man who had marriage as the answer. I couldn't take your randy man about town but never told you so. I handled it by not straight dealing, but running. So here we are a lifetime later, seriously. I mean, you were 25 then. Suddenly your name unbidden pops into my head like candy. I Google you with my googly phone and pull up your photo, <laughs> so handsome. Such a mommy picked this out. You would have hated, but last November, you were 47 when you died at home. <gasps> I don't know how or why, but I do remember the lonely guy poster you gave me as a wedding gift. You became a long time lonely guy who only left Molly, his cat, behind, as well as your parents, your brother, your sister, your nieces, your friends, and me. A long time married lady, flattened with grief while memories rise, your ghost. Spirit, Dom Perignon, sunshine, lobster fresh, Trump's yacht, sassy red pumps in the chateau in France, our baby's first smiles, Rolls Royce, Miles Davis, coach bag, hold my hand, forever. Rain, sleet, snow, nothing is too good for my man, my husband. And, uh, I think that's all I have today. Oh, what? That's all I have today. Oh. What? One more? Yes! More. More. more, 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 more! Come on! Yes! Okay, oh, one more. I'll do a little one. Um. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. This is an old one. This is one of the first ones I, I did as a performance poet. Pulling into the gas station of love. I prefer full service. Fill her up. Running for days, sometimes weeks, on a brief interlude until insecurity kicks in. Should I go through the car wash? How about a good vacuum? Maybe I should get this front fender fixed. Running on empty, I pull into the gas station of love. Though there are times when Self-service just has to do. <laughs> you were going to stay there. You were going to stay there. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that was low enough. Give it up one more time. <laughs> wow. That was so awesome. Because after all these years, I'm so used to being at the beach and hearing these very sterile, appropriate for children versus these in the woods, a bottom man. And then, like, ah, that was awesome. That was a very, very, very good performance, Kathleen. Thank you very much. And I want to tell everybody that they are used to it, this being every two weeks, and there would be a podcast for an open mic. But starting this week for at least a month, we've got open mics for every week, including next week. May 29th, we've got GPA, the Poetic Unsung, is going to be here next week, yeah! And then June 5th, Robin Fine, Fine Time, Fine Time, yeah! Robin Fine is going to be up in the beginning of June, and then June 
612? Andy Carroll. I don't know how many times you've seen this woman. She comes here every once in a while. She was here for the Charlie Newman feature recently. But I swear to God, she is worth coming here for because she's really, really awesome. So I better see everybody here. And then, oh yeah, after that, one week after that, we happen to have on June 19th, Esteban Colon coming on June 19th. Definitely, definitely. We've got Dan Cleary on July 5th. And I can tell you all sorts of things going, yeah, I know. We can tell you all sorts of things, all sorts of things going on and on and on. But you can always go to www.chaoticarts.org. That would be me, Chaotic Arts. Chaoticarts.org slash the cafe. And you can find out the schedule for 2013. And I really hope to see all of you guys here next weekend.